We can only hope. <laughs> yes. Turning now to the forecast, this is a live look over Southfield, a dreary day, a big change up from what we've been experiencing. Yes. But people want to yeah. cool down, especially you. You wanted it yeah, too, yeah, right? I know, I like it. I like our seasons, yeah. so I like things to change a little bit. Maybe not drastically, but yeah, we're, we're seeing the change. We're tracking the wet weather. Widespread rain, it's a good soaking rain coming down. We need it too, and it is coming down across Metro Detroit. Periods of rain into the upcoming weekend. That is going to signify a cooler weekend, a blustery weekend at times. 63 and rainy right now in Detroit. A southwest wind at 14 miles per hour. By the time we get to the weekend, when I say blustery, winds gusting up to 30 will be possible. Yeah, we're talking 50s for temperatures. You'll see the wind chills. Yeah, I had to dust that graphic off and bring it back into the forecast. Uh, we're talking, yes, wind chills for the weekend. So when we look at the widespread rain right now, we can see a secondary line of showers developing out ahead of the cold front, too. I'm watching this, still not tracking any lightning, but still not ruling out an isolated rumble of thunder. And you can see widespread rain for the next several hours. We start to see it dropping off by about 10 o'clock, still in the forecast, but we get to 2 a.m. and then we really start to see things drying out behind the front and there's the front right now behind it. We have yet a secondary cold front and this is the one that's going to drop our temperatures. So we have these lining up and we also have a blocking storm system, tropical storm on the East Coast. So to get these through is going to be a slow process. I think they'll get hung up and stall out a bit as we get into the weekend. 73 in Chicago, 60 in Minneapolis and Fargo Marquette, 55 degrees up to the north. So that transition into fall cooler weather. It is certainly there and evident on that surface map. We're talking about temperatures in the low 60s right now. We hit 70 for a high at Metro Airport. We started at about this temperature this morning, so we saw those temperatures up and then, of course, with the front and the rain coming back down. We're about 15 to 20 degrees cooler than this time yesterday to kind of put things in perspective. 18 degrees cooler in Pontiac and in Troy lost 17 degrees in Ann Arbor. So when we start looking at our hour by hour forecast. The widespread rain definitely decreases as we we get into the overnight hours and really I think a good part of tomorrow looks dry. It's really not a bad forecast for Friday until this front comes in for the evening. So when we look at about eight, nine o'clock in the evening, wouldn't you know football time, right? We're looking at these showers. So just kind of preparing that you get to the middle and end of the games and the rain looks like it's going to come right back in an upper level trough. This is the one that certainly may stall out for the weekend. If I were to say Saturday versus Sunday, I would probably say Sunday's a little better at this point, but we are keeping intervals of rain in the forecast, especially when we get into the afternoon hours when we see more of the instability during that time. Here it is. This is our, our wind chill feature and we're looking at Saturday. So by the afternoon, yeah, it feels like 50s. Not so bad. We get into Sunday morning and you're out and about early on. It feels like the mid 30s. So yeah, we're talking about a quite a chilly start to the weekend. And by the time we get into the afternoon on Sunday, 40s and 50s is how it's going to feel. And we know what's going on Sunday. Of course, tailgating. We have the Lions. We're going to have fun. Just bundle up. Tis the season that uh, things change quickly. Yes. yes. Our Lions.